We're learning more about plastic surgery and how it differs from cosmetic surgery. Today in our business highlight of the Aesthetic Center of Plastic Surgery, Dr. Serafini is here to tell us about what they do and who they are and the differences. Yes. So good morning to you, Doctor. Thanks for coming on today. Good morning. Thank you good so much for morning. having me. Of course. So what is the difference between the cosmetic and plastic surgery? Is there a difference? Is there not? Yeah. So first and foremost, when people think of plastic surgery, they're often thinking of cosmetic procedures. Mm -hmm. The plastics training, um, cosmetic surgery is just kind of one of the six elements that they learn, whereas my training is mostly just on cosmetic surgery, so we're more hyper-focused on that. Um, so it's a lot of the surgical procedures that people might think of to help improve their appearance, maybe reverse signs of aging, mm -hmm. or kind of fix changes that are associated with pregnancy, things like that. Okay, so that's kind of a whole realm of a little bit of everything. So are exactly. you talking like breast implants, nose, yes. facial, like, yes. or is it more like the Botox fillers, like, or just everything? Everything, Okay. yeah. So my training was in surgical and non-surgical procedures, mm -hmm. but we do everything from neck lifts, eyelid lifts to lifts. mommy okay. makeovers like yep. tummy tuck, mm -hmm. breast lift, things like that. So a little bit for everyone, I guess, yes. especially with the mommy makeovers. And we'll get into that a little bit later on here. But I, I do like how you are a local, I guess, yes. for a better lack of word, you are a Century graduate. I and am. so, um, but you also work with your dad, who's the main doctor mm -hmm. at the office. Mm -hmm. And so tell me a little bit about the background of your office. Yeah, so we actually started, well, my, my father started the practice in 2000 mm -hmm. in the community, um, and we've been around ever since. We're on Century in Washington. I graduated and worked at the practice, things here and there, growing yeah. up, of course, because they started when I was seven. Yeah. So graduated, you get a little bit of an interest with that. Yeah, yeah graduated <laughs> from Century, yeah. went and did my medical training at University of North Dakota, a lot of my clinical training mm -hmm. here. And then, like we most have to do, left the state for <laughs> yeah. some um, surgical specialty training and then has since come back. Brought my Kansas husband with me, yep. so we'll see how he fares through the winter. <laughs> yeah, also, this is the first winter uh -huh. he'll have. All uh -huh. right, well, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> is he part of the office with you, too, or is he a totally different yeah, job, so I guess? <laughs> very interestingly, he's actually a teacher at Century. Oh, fun. Yeah. I love that. Special education, <laughs> yeah. and then he's um, a wrestling coach as well. Oh, uh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Getting well involved in the community here. Exactly. I think you mentioned a little bit, too, about how your training was a little bit different, uh, different than maybe the normal path. So yes. how does that make a difference at your office? Yeah, so I think it's really cool because I'm able to kind of bring in different styles and different techniques. And that's not necessarily because it's um, the difference of training as cosmetic versus plastic, but mm -hmm. more so just because I trained in a different decade. Yeah. Um, and so it just kind of bring a different view to things. Um, I'm the only cosmetic surgeon in the okay. western part of North Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, and I think with my training, I was able to focus on just cosmetic surgery as well as the non-surgical mm -hmm. aspects and how it all fits in together and what we can offer to patients mm -hmm. because we're not a, we, you know, when you're a, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail or yeah. when it, yep, yep. vice versa. So <laughs> we are able to offer surgical and non-surgical things and give really patients an option so that they can be well informed with what they plan to do. Oh, so many different questions can run through a patient's mm -hmm. head and you know you're here to answer all of those questions. From what I understand you are back next month so we'll, mm -hmm. with a whole different topic. Yeah. And we'll elaborate a little bit more. Dr. Sarah Feeney, thank you so much for coming on yes, here. We're going to put Heidi. some information up on the screen real quickly on where we can find the Aesthetic Center of Plastic Surgery. Doctor, thank you once again. Can't thank wait you, to Heidi. have you back. Thank you.